Um, so the question is, what's the best advice you would give a new leader joining the NSLS? Well, the first thing I would say is take the time to acknowledge and appreciate your accomplishment of successfully earning the credentials to join the NSLS. It's no small achievement. And sometimes as leaders, sometimes as individuals, we see everybody else's accomplishments, but we don't see what we have accomplished. We don't acknowledge what we have accomplished. So take the time to you know, pat yourself on the back, you know, um, and just, you know, you, you've done that part. Now, the second thing I will say is take the time to get familiar with what the NSLS offers you, you know, as a new member and also the requirements, because there's certain things you have to do, such as your SNTs and your required broadcast attendance. So what does it take for you to become a full fledged member? And then what also what is it that you uh, what was the benefit of being a member? Um, you got things such as your job postings, your disc assessments, scholarships. We all need money to, you know, um, you know, free money to school. And they give it's a lot of money out there um, for members of the NSLS. But one thing that I like a lot is being able to have access to world class leaders, you know, like former presidents, uh, sec former secretary of states, you know, um, successful business uh, leaders such as Mark Cuban you know, actors, Kevin Hart, all these different individuals who are successful in their own right, you're able to get access to knowledge that they have and that they give specifically to NSLS members. So you have a whole library of hundreds of uh, recorded uh, sessions and there's also regular ones as well. So take advantage of what is actually there.